All right, this is an after work short. Um, this will be the first in a video series that I'm making, just uh, documenting the progression I'm, I make, uh, you know, what worked and what failed. As the goal here is uh, I'm trying to make a DIY uh, guide to make drill holes in an in a MFT table or a smart work workbench and that I want them to be highly accurate something that's you can just make yourself and will work very similar to a PARF guide with about paying 250 bucks so again we'll start I'm gonna call this we'll just say it's the smart guide 1.0 um, I cut this out on my laser uh, from center to center it's 96 millimeters this one in the center is a split and it's 48 millimeters this hole is uh three eighths three eighths one inch um this is what i started with uh and i had my reasons the the reason for the one inch hole that's what we need is that this guide bushing is one inch so i'm going to be using my uh router here to be to make the holes um this is going to be my drill press you know it would be a plunge router and just plunge this would plunge down on on what I'm going to make kind of uh, a 96 meter, millimeter uh, rail which you'll see here in a, in a bit which will be like a guide so this is basically I guess the idea here is this is like a small guide but I'm going to use this to make something like a like a parf guide for my router um, and, and we'll go over this because it's a little a bit complicating but it all makes sense in the uh, the end all right, this is an after work short. Um, this will be the first in a video series that I'm making, just uh, documenting the progression I'm, I make, uh, you know, what worked and what failed. As the goal here is uh, I'm trying to make a DIY uh, guide to make drill holes in an in a MFT table or a smart work workbench. And, that I want them to be highly accurate, something that you can just make yourself and will work very similar to a PARF guide without paying 250 bucks. So again, we'll start, I'm going to call this, we'll just say it's the smart guide 1.0. Um, I cut this out on my laser, uh, from center to center, it's 96 millimeters. This one in the center is a split and it's 48 millimeters. This hole is a uh, three eighths. All right, so the way this worked, or at least whatever my first test was, from the center to the edge is 48 millimeters, so I just squared this up with the edge. I had a straight edge, I had something straight on the edge and just pushed it flat. Um, and then from there, I'm just gonna take this off so it's easier to, as I had my plunge router hooked up, with a, with, I had a plunge router hooked up with a 3 8 inch uh, bit here. Um, just inserted it into the one inch hole here and plunged it through, making the 3 8 inch hole. All right, and then from there, these, these I found at Lowe's. So these are Hillman guide bushings. And they, and this is kind of interesting. So these are about, two bucks or something, two, 247, um, made by Hillman at Lowe's. Uh, this is three quarters uh, on the uh, inside and it's one inch on the outside diameter. But this is the exact same size as the uh, guide bushing. So these will come into play in the future. They also make a, this is, three eighths inch inside diameter, I think half inch on the outside. Um, and then they had, they also have, uh, this is a quarter inch on the inside and three eighths on the outside. So as you can see, these things, they slide into each other. So a little, very little play. So these are going to come in the future. So this is my pin. So you can buy these pins, whatever. I'm going to buy these. I bought some of these and use them as my uh, pin. So again, once once I made this uh, hole here, as you can see here, I did take it out, put the pin in, 
this was here, rotated this. So got my router again. Insert into the one inch thing, the one inch uh, hole. Another three eight three eighths inch. Basically, just popped it out. It's a stiff, it's tight fit. Come up the back. Put it in, and then basically repeat the process all the way down the board. Be sure to check out part two as I made some good progress. See you soon.